so this is my saddle, my western saddle. As you guys know, I ride in this saddle every time I ride the western. This is my favorite saddle I've ever owned so far. Other than just the saddle, there's the cinch in the breast collar and the rear cinch. Here is Doc's cinch. So it hooks on to right here. So I'm just gonna hook it on. And you never want them to just flap down like that all the time. It's really bad for the cinch and the saddle. And here's my breast collar. And so you don't want these things to just flop down on the floor like that because it can ruin the saddle and it can also ruin the breast collar or the cinch. So with my cinch, I will take this little clip thing and I clip it on to right here so it doesn't isn't like just loose and wrangling around. And you never want the sweaty side to be on the saddle because it can ruin the saddle. So you always keep the sweaty side up. And then I just take this end and loop it back around on this hook on the other side. And then for the cinch again you don't want it to just flop around some people prefer to take off their breast collars and their cinches off of their saddle so it doesn't it's not even a problem for them but i prefer to keep mine on my saddle so again you want to keep the sweaty side up so it doesn't ruin your saddle and then i flop it over and so i would normally on diego saddle i just take i take it off of diego saddle but normally i would take it and hook it onto this thing but my two things are swapped around on the other side. So this thing right here is supposed to be right here. And this thing right here is supposed to be right here. So I'm just going to flop this over and that's how it goes. And it normally does not fall off that way. And then I always keep my saddle bags, my two saddle bags I have on here at all times. And that's how I put all my stuff on. And then after that, I will take this fabric. I don't have an actual saddle cover or else I would use it every day. But for now, I just have this little chunk of fabric left over from one of the fairs. So I just throw it over like that. And that's how I make sure my saddle stays clean and healthy. So for parts of a saddle. So this is my Fallon Taylor saddle sack. I got it for Christmas. I haven't really been able to use it yet, but I am super, super excited about it. I will normally keep some money, like what classes I'm in, it for like rodeo or something, what I'm doing, money, my phone, stuff like that, and a snack. And then in back in this saddle bag, I normally don't use this for like rodeos or anything like that. I just have it for at home. There's these two little compartments for water bottles. I don't really use that though. It's just, these are kind of just there. And then this right here, there's this big open pouch. I normally keep maybe a water bottle, a sweatshirt, food, stuff like that. Or if we're going on a trail ride, just like stuff, like, you know, life straw water bottle, life straw, sweatshirt, rain jacket, that kind of stuff that I keep in there. So this is the horn. So if like, it's just here to hold on to. Um, and then this is the fork or the swell. Just kind of keeps you in place. Um, this is right here. There's this little tiny, just like indent right here. That is the powell. Come out, come out. See, I know what this stuff is, but I don't. It's just this is the pommel. Then this is the seat, obviously, where you sit down. Then I kind of know what this is. This is the um, it's the candle. I knew that that was candle, but I just forgot what it was called. And then there is the skirt right here. This is the skirt. There's this little flap and then the skirt this is the skirt right here and then there is the flank strap that would be hanging down right here if you had a western uh, um back the 
rear cinch. And then there is the off belt, which I don't have one, but the off belt would go right there. And then the, this right here is the fender. And then the stirrup keeper. This is the stirrup keeper. It just keeps the stirrup in place. And then the stirrup, obviously. And then this right here is called the jockey. Don't know why, but it's called the jockey. Then, oh, sorry. This is where the off billet is. The off billet goes right here, not right there. Sorry. This is the gullet right there. Then these cinch straps right here. And those are the parts of the Western saddle. Okay, so I use this leather cleaner. It's Lexol leather cleaner. Um, I just put this duct tape over it and said, Danny, because it's mine. I stole it from my mom, but it's mine now. <laughs> so I'm just going to squirt on a couple squirts onto here. So you never want to get the rough hide, the seat part of it, the felt part of it, or this stuff right here part of it, which is pretty sure is the rough hide actually. Um, so you only get one to get the plain leather. So I'm going, I always start right there. And I forgot to grab my actual leather cleaner thing. It's a little toothbrush and you can get all the little crevices. And I know I just told you not to get it, but this part will, um, with it, just like rub it over a little bit and then wipe it off. That's what I normally do, just to get it a little spiffy and shinier. And then you just want to make sure all of the little spots are nicely coated with it. And this is normally why you use a toothbrush because you can get all of the little indents and stuff out of it, but I just forgot to grab mine. This is not normally a time that I would clean my saddle because of the weather. It's very cold and it would freeze. I normally only do this twice a year, in the beginning of the year and then before fairs. And I have to get every single piece of my leather that I own. So my show halters, my bridles, my show halters, my Western saddle, my English saddles, my bridles, my everything has to get done. And then, so if you have this big dark spot, like one spot just gets too much, you can't spin around it. It will soak it all up and it will get super dark. Don't worry, it's not going to stain your saddle. I thought it was going to stain my saddle forever. It didn't stain my saddle forever. Look at every single little spot of your saddle. or whatever you want to call it. This is just how I'm just gonna quickly clean it down. It's also really good for the sweaty parts of your saddle. You can just wipe all that nasty dirt off of it and sweat and dirt and nastiness. And if you want, you can get some silver cleaner for your little silver spots on it. I don't really do that. I just take the cleaner and rub it over it and call it good. So that is how you take care and clean a Western saddle. So this is the West English saddle and so as you can see, there's no horn on it, like the Western saddle. So I'm going to go through you and tell you the parts of it. So this is the cantle again, just like in the Western saddle. This is the seat. And then this is the twist right here. And this is the pommel. This is the 
skirt. It's much tinier than the Western saddle skirt. This is the knee pads where you rest your knees at. The stirrup, the stirrup leather, and then this little flap of leather right here is the stirrup leather keeper, and it just holds it in place. And that is the English saddle. But there's more to it than it seems. Where would you put your So if you have a tiny saddle and a big horse like I do, you have to use one of these things. They just connect onto it and it's just a little extension. So I always use my head for this part, but can't right now. So I just, you just hook it up like that on these two right here. And for different sports, you use different um, part, different ones, like these two or these two or these two, or these two, or like different parts of it. And so this is what I use though for what I do. And then this goes on to the other side and gets connected. And I can actually make this one. This one was my mom's saddle. Not my aunt This was my mom's old saddle. I'm going to take and when you're taking care of an English saddle, you don't want to put your cinch on the saddle. You want to hang it up on the hook so it doesn't ruin the saddle. So that's what I do. Because and they are so slippery that it just always falls off anyways. So I normally just put it on a hook or under my thing right there. And just like the can't see just like the western saddle, you want to keep something over it so it keeps the dust and debris off of it. So I just use an old piece of fabric like that. And I want to thank Cavalier for sending me some stuff. So we got these amazing polo wraps. We got these boots. And then we got a couple other things, but they're done at the barn. Okay, so now when you're cleaning an English saddle, you want to lift up the skirt. I, I, I don't know. You want to lift up the skirt and pull off the stirrup leather. It is hard. I have three English saddles, and I ride in all three of them very often. And it is hard for me because I only have one. I have three pairs of stirrup leathers, but I only have three pairs, two, one pair of um, stirrups that I like to ride in, because I like to ride in one with peacock bands, so if I fall off my foot, it's gone in. So you want to take those off, and we will clean those later. And some people prefer to, when they take, put them on, to flip up that lever, but I just, I just don't think it's really necessary. I think the stirrups are gonna hold on. And if they don't, why do you need stirrups anyways? Right, like, they're useless. Put your feet in there, it's all you do basically, the stirrups. Okay, so, cleaning the saddle. Take and squirt a little bit on, just like the other saddle. And you want to wipe down the entire saddle, except for the underside of it, right here on the knee pad. Here, if you have some of this wet green mold stuff, you can just wipe that off. I always get it in the winter. You can just wipe that off easily. Do not get right here, right here, or right here though. And same for this side. Other than that, you can basically clean the entire saddle. So, let's clean the saddle. So this part is down more. 
You want to lift up the skirt and just slide them right on all the way to the edge and then lift up right here and pull until you hear a, a little ting noise and then take right here and put it in right there. And if you're not riding, you want to lift up this and just do it like that. And I really love to jump and do all that, so I'm very thankful I have my English saddles. So guys, that was my video for this week. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Instagram at underscore Danmore, and don't forget to check out Danny the Horse on Instagram. And we have merch too, guys. So make sure you go check that down in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So we are behind the scenes now. Our basement's a mess, but this is where we will be filming our videos like this. So we have our three lights here, and then a camera here, a camera above, and then the saddle stand stuff. So make sure you guys tell us in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. And we will be probably doing our challenges down here and any short, awesome videos. Mm -hmm.